I was going to do the mask last, but let's go ahead and do the mask so we can get a roundabout idea of uh, what we're laying in there. Okay, I, the only thing I've done since last time is mirrored it over so y'all can get a visual reference. I'll take, I'll get rid of that later and mirror the whole thing again. So, uh, let's go to my front view here. Let's get a new mesh item. Okay, let's go back to our basics tab and get a square. I'm going to say five segments in each, X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to draw out a square like this. Looks pretty good. Let's go back to perspective view so I can get a handle on this. Let's pull it forward to the very front of where our mask will be. Go back to our front view. Let's go to wireframe. Okay, let me change this wireframe to something that you all can see a little better. Make it red. Okay, now it's just a matter of taking care of our points. So, let's go ahead and go to vert mode and start manipulating some points. I'm going to pull these down like this. About right there like that. I'll grab these top ones. I'll grab them down like this. Like so let me change that wireframe color. Let me try blue. That's still pretty dark. I guess red would probably be our best bet, wouldn't it? Okay. So now that we're still in vert mode, let's go ahead and start manipulating these points by grabbing them. And I'm going to pull them in here to trace the outline of this, roughly, this skull. Not skull, but actually a hockey mask. A really low poly hockey mask. Now, as I said, this just takes time. There's really nothing that we can do much about it. I wish there was a button we could push and it says make mask or make face or whatever. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and move these in a little more. I can scale these in, like so. Okay, we're slowly taking a little bit of shape here. shape out our top. Bring those down a little bit like that. Okay. Now let's move these in. To match a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to go to my polygon mode and add a loop slice right through here. Count of one, 50%. Like that. Okay. And then maybe you can add one more right through there. If you want. So let's go back to vert mode. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's start manipulating these points to go around the eyeballs. Pretty good right there, I guess. Let's do this one now. 
This one's got a slightly different shape to it. But there's no matter. No matter what shape it is, as long as we got something to outline with. A reference image. Okay, let's pick that one. And those. And kill them. Let's go back to perspective view. Let's kill out our backdrop images. Let's go advanced. Okay, here's what we got so far. And you can tweak all you want to your little heart's desire. It's up to you. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give this a radial fall off. So let's go back to our front view. Let's go to uh, fall off, radial. I'm going to click right in the middle here. And give this a radial fall off. Let's go to our side view and pull it out this way. Now I'm going to go to my perspective view. And we can see my fall off now. I'm going to hit my W key for move. Position this a little bit. And I'm going to pull this forward to give it a slight curvature like a face. Now let's remove our radial fall off. Okay, now let's go in here and select our geometry, run the thicken or the smooth shift on it. Like so. Now we've got it's got a little thickness to it. I'm going to select this loop right through here, run a loop slice at 50%, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Fifty percent, and now I'm going to run one loop slice mode free, and I'll make it a closer to the back edge. Okay, now we have our rough mask. As you can see here, roughly laid into place. Now you can go in and adjust your points, yada, 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 make it look however you want. It's completely up to you. And what we're going to do is... We'll hide this until later. And later when we need it, we'll call it out. Let's go to edges here. You delete that little edge there. Okay, we'll rename this face mask. I'll say okay. I'll put it down to the bottom of my stack. Let's turn on everything real quick. And here's what we got so far. And um turn the eyeball off to my face mask so we can forget about that and we'll bring it back later when we need it. I'm going to put it inside my backdrops folder so it'll be out of sight and out of mind. And if I want it, there it is. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we'll see you in the next video.